We are standing now at the southwestern corner of the ONU campus, making our way south, uh, looking at one of the really beautiful ponds, a number of which grace the ONU campus, with the campus radio tower in the background, old stars and stripes billowing proudly overhead. It's quite a majestic September day. It's September 12, 2010, and as we make our way south, we see the reeds uh, right, right on the edge of the pond. Really beautiful. And peeking right over the tops, we'll notice a Frederick Remington statue. This is, I believe, Into the Rye, or Riding Into the Rye, one of Remington's more famous sculptures. And as we make our way, we'll try to get in a little bit more detail. The ONU campus is proud to have a number of these statues throughout the campus and they're really, really uh, beautiful and, the, and they come up quite unexpectedly as you're walking around and this is a really nice view of Americana. You see this really fitting portrait of four American cowboys enjoying the, uh, enjoying the summer day. As we make our way south, we notice the residences, the student residences, and just over the edge, the forest and the cornfields that line the campus. Um, this is the Green Monster, the famous uh, walkway and, and jogging path cleared throughout the winter for students, faculty, and staff to enjoy. And just over the hillock, we'll see the Dial Robertson Stadium, where ONU plays all of its home games for football and a number of other sports. And obviously in the background, the newest additions to the ONU campus, the windmills, the wind generators, the power, like I said previously, 10% of, uh, of the campus's energy needs. So this is really neat and, uh, and quite a nice addition to the campus. Signing out until next time.